Hey Siri, Chuck E. Cheese near me. Not all carriers and IA firms are going to want you to close claims on site. So all you may be using a printer for is printing out customer service handouts and your loss reports. However, you still need to print stuff out and you won't get far without a good printer. The way I run claims for my clients is that I do the policy analysis and I do the coverage decision, which means I also settle up with the insured, and that means printing out an estimate. For wind hail claims, I just leave the thing in the back seat plugged in. For water claims, however, I will take my printer to the risk with me along with my laptop and a lightweight computer bag or backpack, and I'll set it up on the insured's dining room table or kitchen counter. And for more information on how I run water claims, check out my Water Claims 101 video. The link is in the description below. Now, I've run with a lot of different printers, and I've found HP to be pretty good printers, especially the Office Jet 200 series, which also runs on a battery. Canon makes excellent printers, but they have so many little tiny ink cartridges, at least back when I owned one, that I was always swapping out random colors, plus the cartridges were expensive. So when I went to Best Buy to look for my favorite printer, the HP Office Jet 200, they didn't have it. But they did have this little dude. So I thought, hey, look how tiny this little thing is. Surely in 2018, the quality of these things is good enough, right? Well, hang in there until the end to see if this printer is worth the 200 bucks I spent on. All right, let's take a look at what's in the box. set it up with my new PC laptop. So I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to install the drivers and everything on this thing because as you know there's no optical driver, no CD-ROM drive on this laptop. So I had to try and download the drivers and I spent a bunch of time jacking around with it which is super annoying. Broke into the manual a little bit, tried to do it wirelessly, still couldn't get it to work. Finally got everything to work, and I started able to start printing some sheets, which was great. But it took me a while. Just for comparison, I decided to see how challenging it would be to pair it up with my aging 2013 MacBook Pro. Now, I don't want to start any kind of war about Mac versus PC, but I can't understand why this is like this in 2018. And I'll say this, even if there is a super easy way that I'm not doing, it only proves that Macs are for users and PCs are for losers. I mean people who are more technical and like to tweak. So before you blow up my comments, just know that most people in the world are users and users are the people who mostly use computers. Final verdict, it's a cool little lightweight printer that may not win any pages per minute races, but it works really well for cat work. So tell me what you're using for your field claims in the comments below. Even better, tell me why PC or Mac is better and why. And as always, please like, share this video around on social media, and subscribe so that you'll always be up to date with Adjuster TV videos. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great storm. This is Adjuster TV.